Emil, a quick draw against Ju Wenjin today. Uh, were you expecting it to go this way? Are you satisfied with the result? No, I didn't expect it to be a quick draw. Uh, it was quite a surprising opening choice by her, and I spent around 10 minutes deciding what to do because she played a move order which which considered to be harm, harmless just for this reason that black can take a draw immediately. But otherwise, there are some problems for black to equalize. And uh, well, I wasn't I wasn't expecting it and facing it over the board. I took some time, but after all, I played the strongest objective move and it was a draw. Right, because if you try to avoid the repetition at that point, it can get you into a little bit of a trouble. Yes, this move actually is quite tricky. It was first played by Aronian against myself. And then it was not that I was avoiding a draw against Aronian, I just didn't find it. And, and I lost that game. And since then the improvement has been shown and uh, it was all known. But I didn't expect, actually even after my move bishop d7, white can deviate and play on. But she immediately forced a draw and that was. I wouldn't say that I'm very happy about that, but uh, given to the situation, I was black and she's a very decent player. I but mean, you were looking forward to a game? Yes, of course I was for looking forward to a game. I mean, uh, there shouldn't be other reason. I also played a decent game yesterday beating Vitugov, so I was rather high on my moods, but uh, okay, uh, that happens, that's, that's all right. Right, well, you get an early rest now. Emil, of course, you know, there is a lot of uh, criticism towards mm -hmm. draws in chess in general because of which we've got the 30-move rule now. Repetition is something that cannot be avoided in many circumstances, but the audience and the spectators watching it feel a little disappointed because they don't get the action they were hoping for. So what would, how would you explain it to them? Well, I, I understand this disappointment. It just happens. I mean, uh, in round robin tournament, it's more of a problem than here. Here you have like 40 games or 50 games broadcast. Uh, okay, it is board number one and it is a sort of disappointment. But we should not forget that uh, in under circumstances, after all, it's a competition and sometimes you have to, you know, to build your strategy. It's like calling some player a boring player if he, you know, he gets his point by being grinder and not an accounter. So he, it's his playing style. So here it's also a sportive situation and the to tournament situation sometimes dictates you what you do. And I would not criticize you for picking this line and I, I'd ask not to criticize myself to, for not avoiding it and going to a to worse position but, but taking a draw. I mean, it, that can happen. Uh, if you follow my games, it doesn't happen too often in my games. Right, well, we have no reason to complain for both of yours, Blake, because both of you have been showing very enterprising chess in the first uh, five rounds of, uh, of the festival. Now, tonight is a very, very special night here with the Battle of the Sexes. And uh, that's something that you have witnessed uh, several times here as well. Is that something that you look forward to? Yeah, it is special. I've used to, to take part uh in the games itself, this year I would not, but we do prepare some surprise together with Elizabeth Petz and uh, th that surprise might please the audience quite a bit, I guess. Now, who are you rooting for in the battle of the sexes? Well, I, I look at it as a show, so I just don't, don't really root for anyone, but, but it's always fun, it's, it's, a, it's a great fun, and I remember it was a bit surprising a year or two ago when, when ladies won the match, or a couple of games at least, and uh, I think it was a very decent battle, and at some point I felt even it's a bit more than just a show, they took, started taking it seriously. Some boys were playing some, some moves, some random moves, but girls took it very, very seriously and did win. So I expect it to be close fight, but most of all, I expect it to be a lot of fun. Right, it is in fact going to be a whole lot of fun. Now, you are a regular at the Trade by Gibraltar Chess Festival, and this whole social side of the festival is a very big part of it. Uh, and you always make an effort to be wherever, everywhere that you can. And do you enjoy that part, the social part of, of a chess tournament as well? I think that's what's so great about the tournament and in general I think chess players do have some duty to contribute to this general atmosphere, be it the simultaneous games, master classes or this, this uh, socializing. I think the top players and especially the star players like here um, have to contribute their bit to, to see the, uh, let's say, a bit less immortals to, to be joined by and to see that we are really one family and not just, just a motto by Fide, you know. So we are against Venusumas after all and chess is what unites us and also you we can have a lot of fun together, not only fighting over the board, but just having a pleasure, sharing this pleasure, being together in chess world. Very well said, and we are very much looking forward to the surprise that you have in store uh, for us, so the audience can tune into our live broadcast of the Battle of the Sexes tonight and see what you've got up to your sleeve. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.